Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and Bible journaler, and this is another in the series of the Thank You Journals. And I'm working on a whole book, well, book, small journal, little mini journal, that goes along with a Bible study that I'm leading right now. And the whole mini journal that we're doing with watercolor and a pen in these videos is an adaptation of what's being done in the Bible study. And I, I'm having them do circles, and I'm having them draw them in pencil if they're just going to watercolor. If you're going to do them in pen anyway, then you might as well draw them in pen in the first place because you can't line them back up really easily later on to add the pen later. In general, I like to add the pen later on because then if I screw anything up, I have the chance to fix it by putting my pen line in a different place. But there you go. So I am putting down a color first in the background in watercolor and I'm using an aqua brush which has water in the handle. It's a little challenging to paint with but I'm trying to see what it takes to get a full background done both working from this dot card that has little dots of paint and working with this brush. I generally don't like these aqua brushes just because they squeeze out water at an uneven rate. Like I can't really control it super well, but for a big background like this, I'm not too worried about it. And I wanted to show the students in the Bible journaling group kind of an easy, simple way to get into watercolor and an aqua brush is pretty easy. So once I got the paint as even as I could and made sure it was good and wet, I started tipping the paper in different directions to make sure it moved. And as it moves, it's going to generally smooth out some. So you can pick it up and turn it different directions. If you tape it down to a board, then you can just tip the board. This little spot right here got a little bloom on it, a little hard edge. So I'm taking a baby wipe and softening it and just being careful not to lift too much off of the paper underneath. And then I'm just gonna paint colors into each one of the circles. Now you could be very, very super careful and paint them all perfectly and try to make it look very graphical. But I don't tend to like that because if I'm gonna do it graphical, I'm gonna do it with a different medium. Watercolor is so flowy. I love it when the colors start to bleed into each other. But if you don't like that, then let each layer dry in between. Just paint a bunch of them like this that don't touch and then wait for it to dry and then go back in and paint the next ones. Well, I'm gonna just proceed while the others are wet and let the colors bleed as they will and allow it to be a little bit on the messy side. Let it let the color kind of smoosh around all that it wishes. And I'm using colors that are analogous to each other near each other on the color wheel, purples and pinks and blues. And that's going to help to keep them from looking disjointed. If I were to suddenly throw a yellow in there, it might be nice and bright, but I also might end up if I mix yellow and purple together, I might get a brown, and that might not make me so happy. So I'm just gonna get all this color in here, and then I'm gonna do this purple right over top of the blue. And now I'm gonna get a bl more bluish purple in that one section. And then more colors all the way around. And once I finish this, then I can pick up with the doodling. In this whole journal, I've been doing the watercolor first, and then wherever the lines are on the watercolor. I get to doodle and I've been doodling with a Sharpie pen. And if you haven't been following along with this series and you want to see the rest of it, you certainly can start from the beginning. There's a playlist of the thank you journal pages. So you can follow along through the whole thing. And you can also do your own kind of watercolors, whatever backgrounds you want, whatever kind of techniques you want, slop around some paint and have fun, do some drawings and do some spiritual journaling. So here begins the doodles. So I'm starting with just taking some pen to go around the shapes themselves and then I'm going to go into each one of the places where there's a little bloom or a blossom inside and just start making lines around it and then make parallel lines to that and make some stripes across them and all different sorts of things just to make some beautiful designs in this. Now this particular lesson has Zippo to do with these planets necessarily, but I think the journaling that I did tied them together a little bit because as I was drawing this and meditating on the idea behind the lesson, 
the students are talking about in in the class uh, basically about defusing the bomb that goes off in our head the the mental things that just get us really outraged and upset over things that are just not important i mean i find myself getting all weirded out by a bill that comes that's higher than it should be and i get all upset about it and instead of just calling them up and asking a question and why is it you know being billed this way etc i end up just really ready to explode and in this lesson we talk a little bit about how god knows everything already he's not surprised by it so when we go to him with our outrage and we're just incensed over something that's happened to us he already has the answer to it and if we can just trust him that he's got the answer then we can approach things in a much calmer fashion and when we're trying to promote a position that we're taking you know i, I think of facebook and the craziness that is facebook right now if we take one of those kind of positions and we approach it calmly rather than in just yelling at everyone on Facebook about a particular issue just to get upset, we're going to win more people over if we can do it in a more calm fashion. So the journaling that I wrote on this page of mine is, thank you God for being the author and finisher of everything. And that's where bringing in everything in the universe was seemed to work with these planets that I ended up drawing. Nothing comes as a surprise to you since you made us and are making us day by day. You know it, you saw it, you saw the offense, and you saw my faux offense, my fake offense. You saw me getting outraged while I knew you had a plan for it already. Did you wonder, Lord, if I trusted you to handle it? I'm sorry. I'll say now that I do trust you to deal with it. So remind me of that later. And show me when my outrage is warranted. <laughs> when you created me to be the catalyst for change. Not just when I want to make the change, but when you assign me to do it. Now, sometimes God does call us to be the one to champion an issue. So if there's something going on in our world or in our community and we're called to be the one to step out, then that is, that is a calling from the Lord. And I'm not talking about that in this lesson. I'm talking about that stuff that just takes over, that silly stuff that's not super important. Or the things that are somewhat important, but we could win over more people with honey than vinegar. And I feel like as the church especially, there are so many times we come across with so much vinegar in the words that we say. And people start to know us by what we don't like or what we're angry about or what we've taken offense at. Even if we've taken up someone else's offense, it's not even ours. And God really wants us to love people into the kingdom, to bring them in by by being loving to them and wooing them to him. So even simply asking a question of someone rather than telling them what to think is often an easier way to get them to see the Lord's perspective, just to draw them out, draw them into relationship and use the God-given gifts we have for relationship and conversation in order to win people over for Christ instead of yelling at them and telling them what to do. So there's a few random thoughts. This seems really convoluted because I didn't have enough time to get into all of it. But there you go. There's my little page. And we have one more lesson in this series. So I will see you again very soon in another week with the last one of this series. Thank you so much. Leave a comment if you wish. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye.